It's been a long time coming from the SC Sakalana, baby. Sometimes it feels like the world is against me. Cause I'm coming from SC. From heartache and pain, struggle and strain. Trying to maintain for the SC. So, mama, don't worry. Hey, I'ma make my dreams happen. Word definition of the day maintenance. The term used for a nail enhancement service two or more weeks after the last service. Also called a field or rebalance. Hi guys, welcome to the Nail Genie SC or welcome back. How are you? I hope you are well and your family is doing well. Do me a favor if you don't mind, hit that subscribe and like button for me and let's get into today's video. So guys, in today's video we are going to be doing maintenance on my right hand using my left hand which is my non-dominant hand so guys anytime i'm working with my non-dominant hand on my dominant hand it is a process um uh, kudos to those that it's easy it comes easy but i can surely tell you guys it definitely takes lots of practice um and you have to keep with it um, I remember when I was just only focusing on my dominant hand, uh, my non-dominant hand, using my dominant hand. And when it was time for me to start back doing the maintenance on uh, my dominant hand with my non-dominant hand, OMG. So here, guys, I am just pushing back my cuticles. And I left everything in real time today. This is actually going to be part one of part of three part video of a three part video. Um, so guys, you will see me just doing part one today. And the reason why I'm breaking the videos down is one, I don't want them to be super long. Um, right now, I kind of like uh, breaking the videos down because it gives me three videos per se to one. And so I don't have to stress or work so hard and um, concentrate on trying to create a lot of content um, when i have a longer video i can break it down in one or two or even possibly three parts so for this video it's going to be broke down in three parts so guys i am using um three bits and i wanted to try these bits out so the reason why i'm using three bits is because this is something i do when i buy new bits I like to try them out on myself first before I try them on my client or use them on my clients. Um, I like to see what uh, what purpose will they serve me um, during a service. And if I should bypass using this bit or use this bit because it's going to work for me or, um, you know, so I'm trying out three today. So this first bit is a medium cone bit. That I purchased, I think I purchased this bit off of either Timu or Shein or Amazon. I don't even remember, but I think I hauled it in the previous video. So I'm trying this uh, comb bit out because I thought it'd be great to get in to do some cuticle work, clean up around that cuticle when you have a a fill or a rebalance or what we call maintenance work on the nail. Um, my nails are not two weeks old, guys. They are about a week old. Um, but I wanted to uh, do some nail art on my nails. And because I didn't do the nail art right away when I laid the enhancement down, I just thought, well, I'm going to clean up around it and, you know, fill in those uh, parts, that little bit of missing gap or whatever, and, and you know, uh, rebalance the apex in the nail to give my nails some strength um I'm, i like 
everybody have a certain way they like to wear their nails. Some women can wear their nails or some people can wear their nails super flat without the apex. They just kind of like to put the enhancement on it and that's how they like to do. Some people just like the apex, just a slight small apex. Um, but give them a thin uh, nail, something more natural looking for them to feel like it's their nails. But me, I like a more, not thick, not a really thick nail, but a medium nail. I could say the in the medium consistency where I can see my apex, my arch. Plus, I still have um, the, you know, the credit card thin tip. Uh, free edge and I still have structure and balance on my nail plate and that is what I offer my clients as well I tell them all the time look I don't like to do no thin nails I don't like uh, if you say oh I don't want that apex that apex that arch is very necessary because my clients especially the two that is my loyal clients they have had several breaks but we have been fortunate that they didn't break it to the point where they could not wear enhancements ever again. So we have had a few breaks where they broke it in the quick um, because they grabbed, you know, the door handle or the trunk tailgate, not thinking that they have nails on. Um, and it's actually the nail enhancement was strong. So it cracked the nail underneath and then we have to get the nail off. You guys have been here with me. Um, you've seen me uh, taking care of those uh, clients for those services once I record it. So I always let them know, hey, I need to build structure on this nail because, you know, first of all, when you talk to your clients, you want to know what type of work they do. That is the most important thing when doing their nails. You want to know what is their everyday like um, activities. You know, are you working in manufacturing? Do you type on the typewriter? I'm a typewriter, Lord, I'm telling my age. Do you type on a keyboard or do you, you know, what kind of work you do? Are you mainly in the office? So I have two clients that one is mainly in the office and one is on the road. So I plan accordingly to how their um, nails should be structured so they can get through to their next two weeks of maintenance work. And if they have to push it out a week, later like a three week and i try not to let them go past three weeks but if they have to push it out for three weeks they nails will hold up as much as long as possible now it don't always happen that way because of the wear and tear because you don't know what your client is doing outside of what you know they're doing so it don't always hold up so that's why guys i'm trying out these drill bits as well so this one here is a medium, um, huh. <laughs> um, a medium tornado tungs. I think they call tuck tungsten or tungsten. The blue um is a tornado carbide bit. So I wanted to try this one out, and it's working pretty good around the cuticle area. So this is a strong possibility to something I would use for um, my heart gels or my poly gels to help clean up the cuticle. But I'm going to uh, use my third and final bit on my cuticle area that I'm testing out. And that's going to be the small mandrel bit, the new small mandrel bit from Kiara Sky. Um, with the small little mandrel, uh, small little sanding bands, and I'm going to be using a medium grit sanding band, and I think that worked the best. Now, guys, when I purchased this little mandrel bit, it's called the small mandrel bit. I was not too thrilled with it at first. At first, I was like, mm, well, I might as well just use the regular sanding band. I can get more. You know, I mean, I could use the regular size mandrel bit. I could get more use out of it. I'm not really seeing the difference of why I need this bit per se to this one. So after playing with it a little bit on myself, I've realized that that is a great um, bit as 
especially, especially for small fingers like mine. Um, so you see my pinky is just super small, guys. I wear a size nine on, um, if you guys know what I'm talking about, my tip size can be between the size eight, nine, or 10. Depends on what the brand is. So my pinky is really, really tiny. And getting product in there and getting, you know, cleaning up product in my pinky area is always a challenge. Um, because my sidewall to sidewall is very small. Um, my cute, my nail bed is tiny and, um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's a challenge on both of my fingers. So I have small, compared to most people, I have small nail beds. Um, I love, love, love a good, beautiful nail bed. I love my clients' nails. They have such beautiful nail beds. It just allow you to really, you know, get that product on there and just watching that enhancement, just that foundation being laid and everything. It just, it feels good to see that when I have a very healthy and a flourishing nail beds, if that makes sense. So that is, um, what I, as a nail tech, aspire to continue in my clients to keep their nail beds healthy, um, keep them, um, their, um, you know, them happy with their hands because when they no longer want the enhancements, I want them to be able to enjoy their natural nails. And with this um, poly gel and gel um, that I use, it just, and I see it even in my own hand, this is a, a Lisette gel nail, heart gel application, and my natural nail already have grew out underneath the nails, now I went in with all of my nails trimmed down, I, when I, anytime I go in to add tips, I always trim all of my nails down, so, just to look up under my nails and see my own nails, natural nails are already growing out the enhancement. I was shocked. And I was like, this stuff got some type of growing potion in it. Because my nails are growing. And my nails don't like to grow like that, guys. My, uh, you know, my clients can, I can have, I had one of my clients come and she wasn't, she hadn't been out of the chair for a week yet. And she came to get her nails done or get a nail two nails repaired or fixed and i'm already looking at the nails like we might as well go ahead and do the infill or the fill in because yeah why your nails grow so fast but you know it, you know i have seen where the client nail with the gel enhancement or poly gel enhancement can just grow and flourish. And, you know, that's the one thing I do love about any type of gel enhancement and products. It really just, I don't know, it's something about it. It's something in it. It just helped the nails to grow. And um, I like that. But anyway, guys, so here, this is that mandra bit. And as you see, you're going to see me playing in my cuticle area. Guys, please don't be alarmed. I did not cause any type of overfouling on my nails. I'm actually, I actually have this drill in reverse and it's actually on about five or 6,000 RPMs. It's not um, on a high speed at all because of course, like I told you, I'm working with my non-dominant hand on my dominant hand. So I have to take my time doing that because I am a righty. I am not a lefty. So doing anything with my left hand, it takes a lot of concentration and I have to be real mindful and be careful not to uh, get ahead of myself. So that's what I'm doing here. All right, guys, so I've talked enough. I want to thank you all for the support to my channel. I truly appreciate you all very much. If you are here and have not subscribed, Go ahead, if you would, and hit that subscribe button for me. I would love to have you a part of my YouTube journey as well as my YouTube family. Guys, I'm going to let you all listen to music for the remainder of this video. It's not that much left to do, but 
clean around the cuticle a little bit more, get some of this uh, dead cuticle off of my nail plate, and file and shape these to get it prepped for step two. And um, I'll be back with my final goodbyes. Enjoy.
guys i want to thank you all for watching please don't forget to comment like share subscribe follow me over on all of my socials at the nail genie sc and guys i will see you all tomorrow for part two of this video you already know what time it is the deuces are flying in the air Whew. the nail genie she's out <laughs>